What you got? Come here. Do you know what that is? Dude, no way! That's a velvet worm. This is probably one of the strangest, not just strangest invertebrates, but strangest animals ever on the planet. The tropics are home to a wide variety of some of the most unusual creatures on the planet. Where the biodiversity is the highest, the landscape is bound to be just teeming with bizarre secrets. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and for my entire life, the strange creatures of the secret world that runs parallel to ours have never failed to capture my imagination. My mission to uncover the natural world's secrets has brought me to the Ecuadorian dry forest on the hunt for a tarantula I bet you'd never believe exists, the purple bloom bird eater. But this legendary spider is not the only unusual animal that's lurking within these tropical jungles. While searching under rocks for clues that our target arachnid might be around, we stumbled onto the strangest creature we could have possibly found. Yo. What you got? Come here. Do you know what that is? Dude, no way! I can't believe we even found one. Look at that! Hi! Oh, I hope it opens up. That's a velvet worm! <laughs> I didn't know we'd have a chance to see them. Because it is the end of the wet season, but... Right there is probably one of the strangest invertebrates on the planet. Now this is special. What I've got right here is a velvet worm, and this is probably one of the strangest, not just strangest invertebrates, but strangest animals ever on the planet. This is a really special creature only found in the tropics. Its biology is so specific, it can only handle very, very specific environments. I'm not even gonna free handle it on my hands because they're delicate and just weird. I don't want the oils of my skin to hurt it, but look at how bizarre this creature is. The anatomy almost reminds me kind of like a, a centipede with its armor removed or something. Believe it or not, it's actually in its own group entirely. They are distantly related to arthropods. They're a group with tardigrades and arthropods, and one big group called Panarthropoda, but it's been hundreds of millions of years since this shared a common ancestor with any of the, uh, typical bugs that you might find in your backyard. This is a truly unique life form that I have in front of me right here. And look at just how bizarre it is. It's probing around those two antennae. This is a weird one. And the funny thing about it is, as with a lot of really tropical weird creatures, we don't know a whole lot about their biology. We do know they're predators. They'll be out hunting other invertebrates. And the way they hunt is really, really insane. I mentioned that their anatomy is kind of like a centipede. They have two little appendages right in the front of their face there, but instead of injecting venom, they actually use those kind of like, like squirt guns or something. They will shoot out this really crazy sticky substance, almost like a glue, and you can actually feel it when they spray. Let's see if I can get them to do it. There it goes. That's so sticky. It's really sticky. Wow, feel, feel that. That really is sticky. Depending on the species you work with, especially the size and the amount that they squirt on you, it can actually like stick your fingers together. It's really nasty. And while it has no major effect on a human, what it can do for a prey item, it will actually immobilize, but also start to paralyze them. Then the velvet worm will actually like engulf them, sort of like a centipede would, but instead of chewing them up, it's going to have this, these, little, these little mouth parts that will actually drill into it and start sucking the insides out. It is honestly pretty alien. And the way this thing moves is also pretty alien. What we're looking at right here is such an odd life form, but that's the thing. This is a living thing, just like you and me. They are earthlings too. Wow, just insane to think about how this is a member of the animal kingdom, just like we are and yet it is so vastly different than us. Like, I can't even begin to imagine what it's like to see the world or smell the world from the perspective of a velvet worm. But right here, these guys are doing really well out here. And sometimes they can be terrestrial, but this one seems, these guys seem to almost be fossorial. We actually have flipped a couple of them tonight now, um, but we've seen them exclusively under rocks. 
in some areas of Central and South America, they will come out and hunt above ground. But even after dark, we haven't seen them out and about. So we definitely want to get this one back under its rock where it's more comfortable as soon as possible. I'm sure it doesn't like the lights, but I had to take it out for a second just to show you what an incredible creature that it actually is. Look at you, buddy. Wow, you are weird. At the end of the wet season, seeing a velvet worm in the wild is truly an amazing find. As we venture deeper into the untamed habitats of the South American tropics, we can only hope this is a good omen on our hunt for the incredible purple tarantulas. Velvet worms have some of the most unique biology of any animal on the planet, and you know that the stranger an animal is, the more excited I am to see it. And if there's one animal stranger than the velvet worm, it's the tardigrade. These incredibly tough creatures can survive in space, and I guarantee you that there's one in your backyard right now. I recently went on an adventure into the microscopic world of my backyard to try and find one of these elusive water bears. And if you'd like to see that video, check it out right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.